to the grind, don't stop, don't stop, we're calling in Sicily uh, uh, ATC on top, we're calling in Sicily uh, uh, Gotta drop some What's up, ATC gang? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to take you down to my kitchen and we're gonna do some decluttering. I am a part of a collab hosted by I'm Merely Melissa and it's called Clutter Free in 2023. Now, I know I'm not the only one that has that room, that area, that drawer where if company were to come and open it, you might be a little bit embarrassed. So, Go ahead and join this collab with us and together we can get our homes organized and clutter free for the year. So like I said, we're gonna go downstairs and work on the drawer in my kitchen where I keep all of my kitchen towels because um, in its present moment, you might find a packet of hot sauce, um, a measuring cup, some treats and a kitchen towel all in the same drawer and that is not okay. I'm getting everything together space by space, room by room. So come with me downstairs and let's see what we can make happen. So as y'all can see, I got all types of cloths in here. I mean, I've had some of these for years. Some of these are even old washcloths that I just turned into cleaning cloths. So I just want to start by removing everything from the drawer. I'm going to put on my gloves and do a thorough cleaning with some kitchen cleaning with bleach just to get it nice and fresh before I move on to the next phase. Now that everything is nice and wiped out, I'm just going to start by uh, folding up all of my new cloths because I did decide to go ahead and replace some of the ones I had just so I could have something nice and fresh. And then all of these are um, like my seasonal towels. Every time, you know, the season changes, I will go to Target or Home Goods and get new ones. So what I'm going to do is just put those in storage so I have them next year when the seasons come around again. Comment down below, do you also like hoard seasonal towels or do you just keep the same ones you normally use year round? All right, y'all, let's check out this after. So when you open it up, what I decided to do was just start over, you know, start from scratch, just to have everything nice and fresh for the new year. So these two are large kitchen towels that we use to lay out on the counter if we need more space to air dry. I use my dishwasher just to dry the dishes. Comment down below, do you air dry or do you use your actual uh, dishwasher? Are you hand washing or do you use your dishwasher? And so that's what those are for. These right here I love. They are waffle weed. This is all one pack and they came in a pack from Amazon. I have everything linked down below for you guys. And I love the texture. As you can see, it's nice and thick. So you know it's going to get your dishes dry. Um, so that is that and I love the size at first I had to get used to them being smaller than the average kitchen towel but I really enjoy having them this size they're easy to get more in the drawer either easy to launder because everything has already been used and laundered they launder with really well and then they're perfect to get inside of cups because you know with a larger towel it can be kind of hard to stuff a large towel in the cup to dry up these, these smaller ones 
are perfect for that. Over here on the left side of the drawer, we have new uh, washcloths for the dishes, new dishcloths. So something like a pot, we would use these right here because it has this texture on it. Something like plates or any type of toddler dishes that don't need to be scrubbed. We just have the regular blue terry cloth for those. Right up here, I decided to get rid of my paper towels just because it's better for uh, the environment. So I've been replacing my paper towels with these. And as you can see, they're uh, nice and large, the same size as a paper towel. They launder really well and they get the job done. Um, they're actually very soft and really absorbent. So you can use them for cleaning um, or just drying something off the same way how you would use a traditional paper towel. Right here, I decided to get rid of the Ziploc bags a couple months ago. Again, it's just better for the environment. And you're using a Ziploc bag one time and tossing it. So that's such a waste. So these have like a nice soft um, interior as you can see. So they're easy to wipe and wash. And we've been using these for my sons to pack their lunch and for snacks. And they know they can just get their little baggies from here. And then they also come in this larger size, perfect for sandwiches or chicken or whatever you need to pack away. And as far as you know like putting meat in the freezer i no longer have the big ziploc bag so i purchased these and they seal really well they're nice and thick so they wash up easily i've also had spaghetti in these and as you can see they got back really clean so that's what those are for i'm just missing a couple because we actually are using them right now and then in the back i just have my son's um bib so that is the overview of the drawer now that it's all been nice and cleaned and i'm just really proud of it so thank you guys again for watching this video and i'm going to show you underneath the kitchen sink really quickly so these are the smaller dish towels for drying dishes and then if i want to have the bigger one uh we just keep the larger size again with the waffle weave these are the larger ones um if we need to like dry our hands but mostly i use these on the oven to have a nice fresh dish towel on the oven so i'll have everything linked down below in my description box all right y'all so that's it i told you it was going to be short and sweet we did not do our subscriber shout out because i just wanted to make this video you know nice and short and to the point but rest assured we're going to bring subscriber shout out on the next video i hope you all got a little bit of inspiration or you were able to take something from what i did in my drawer and remember just take it you know one project at a time don't feel like you have to go and take on whole rooms at a time do small projects to build your confidence up and get yourself prepared mentally and financially to do larger projects and yes i said financially because you can end up you know, purchasing bins or new supplies to fit the space. So just take it one project at a time. If you all are new to my channel, hello, I'm Cicely. I'm a mother of two young boys. I'm disabled by way of sickle cell anemia, which is an inherited red blood cell disorder that causes anything from organ damage to pain. I wear a fentanyl patch to help control my pain. And one of the things I thought was important was to show people that I may have a lot of turmoil and health issues, but I'm still able to get up and take care of business. And I just wanna encourage you that no matter what may be put on your plate, you can handle business too, and we can do it together. So I would love to have you all subscribe and join the fam. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like and comment down below. Have you decluttered uh, your kitchen drawer where you keep your towels? Let me know. All right, y'all, be blessed until the next one. Bye. Y'all took her to Sicily uh, Say that like that shirt, subscribe, do that for Sicily uh, uh, Till the grind don't stop, don't stop, put cut in the Sicily uh, uh, ATC on top, put cut in the Sicily uh,